What's up guys and welcome to this week's quick look. I'm going to be playing Massive Chalice. This game started off as a Kickstarter project and of course it was successful. Um, I'm playing the game. Um, it's actually free on Xbox, Xbox One Games with Gold so I thought hey why not check it out. Um, seems like something that would be quite fun. Um, I like strategy based games. I used to play things like Age of Empires back as it, when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, so I thought, why not give it a go? Why not indeed? So yeah, let's uh, get into it, shall we? So you have to play as a, oh, it's a difficult game with many new concepts. For the first time game, first, for your first game, I recommend that you play on normal difficulty. Well, thank you. Um, normal balance start iron mode. Single save game. Ooh, ooh, okay. No, no, thank you. What's this? Choose between the serious or silly names. Okay, we'll go with serious. So you play as a uh, king or queen, um, and you must unite your kingdom to fight the demonic threat. Uh, so that's the backstory um, of the game. And apparently, you're also supposed to do something like a uh, 4J. Massive uh, chalice, I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, a van the Vanguard is a party of five heroes out of control in battle. Selecting your houses with a sudden Vanguard is purely cosmetic. Oh, okay. It's cosmetic, apparently. Wow, there's a lot. Okay, apparently, this is cosmetic, so we'll go with. Whichever, there's a lot of these. Damn. Um, go with that, I guess. Um, be nice, be nice to me. Like this. Brings back memories of Ori in the Blind Forest. I like the music. The music is really good. So yeah, let's confirm that. This game was released quite a while back on PC. It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. <laughs> Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... <sighs> Every time. The horns of battle. Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes, jump in. The ruler will be with you shortly. And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking chalice. But the nation will listen to you because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair can still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. You see your heroes yet? Yeah? Great. Now, take command and search the area. The Cadence is out there somewhere. Interesting. So, unit tactic-based gameplay. Uh, to rotate, okay, zoom in and zoom out, and then R to recenter, okay, I'm pressing R, okay, so, I guess it just recenters upon, according to where you actually are, oh, it's, oh, okay, uh, so this will just cycle through them. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. 
Okay. Oh, so that's as far as you can go in terms of that step. Action points. 2 AP, 1 AP, 0. You can take who has two action points to spend during their turn. Press Y to forfeit all remaining points for a hero. Movement boundaries. Moving colored box. Yeah. I know. I understand. Okay. So in here, so this is one, I'm guessing. And this is two? So if I do that, he still has one. Yeah, understood. Okay. Yeah, let's see what that is. Oh. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the Cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. And it cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. I like this game. Voice acting is really good. Um. So do I have to like get really close? You've got a bow, like a crossbow, can't you sort that out? Is this the only way? Yeah, this is the only way through. Okay, so I want you on here. Wait, what do you have? Oh, okay. Enemy Seeds. spotted. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than Pelis. But if you're going to remember one thing, don't let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. You can move your arrows in order you like. You can cycle through, yeah. Attacking, right. Your hero's chance to hit is shown next to the enemy's hit point flag. Glancing blow. Ranged attacks can miss their targets. So the melee attacks will never miss, but sometimes glance for great... Reduced not damage. The best night of your life. 16 damage. Did I, did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. Okay. Okay. Seems, uh. That missed. How did that miss? Stealth mode, follow up, attack. How about that? Eh? One down, untold nice. millions to go. Untold millions. Okay, can you attack this guy? Wow, nice miss, by the way. Okay, you get closer. If I come here. Oh, don't tell me. One. And it's their turn. Minus four. Worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. Oh yes, we forgot to mention. Normal humans cannot survive even a single touch from the kings. Oh. Because the bloodlines of your heroes are attuned to us and have our power flowing through them, they have a fighting chance. I am confused. So, my guessing here. Okay, so she has a massive cannon thing. So I'm guessing that if I, I have to use that specifically, like I, there's a specific option I have to click. So what's here? What's around here? Okay, so there's loads of these egg thingies. So I shall go this way. Give that a go. Take two this way and take the other three go the other way. Oh, nice. Okay, I need to think about this. I need to actually think about this. Don't attack me, please. Okay. Uh, dead. Death shall be swift. Hero skills. Hero skills are located along the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I've been using those. Um, so, okay. I thought you were actually like far range, but apparently not. I 
I know you definitely are. Oh, another one. Great. Take you here. I think you have a. What do you have? You have a crossbow. Yeah. Get you close enough. Knock back. Guess not in range. Okay. End turn. Actually, end turn. Oh! It was bound to happen sooner or later, so you should get used to this now. What? There'll be a lot more before we're done. Enemy hates you. Could from a direct you know, throw a flask. Remember, they're fighting for something bigger than themselves. Persevere and honor their sacrifice. Can I not? Wow, and they don't come back. Okay. That's fun. Um, and another one. Okay, I think I need those other guys on this side. There you have the hunter. Attacking at close range is good, but attacking from afar, where one can think and plan, is better. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear your group leaving you behind as you line up that perfect shot. Oh. Actually, the hunter will be in front of the group, stealthily scouting ahead. Is that what they say they're doing? <laughs> Pull back a little bit. Guys, so I'm probably terrible at this. You're probably thinking, oh, okay, so you're a, you're a long range fighter as well. Awesome. I am sucking at this. Well, it's just really hard. Well, they did say it was really hard. Wow, that didn't kill you. Okay. I think I shouldn't have split up my team the way I did. Because now, like, it just seems like because they're apart, they're weaker. Oh no, death befalls me. Yep. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, are we? Yes, we are dead. There's nothing I can do about, like, can I not heal? No, I can't. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, didn't die. Good. Good, good. Really need to get rid of this thing, whatever the hell it is. Oh, stunned. Um. Death shall be swift. Oh, and that is the end of that fight. Well, that went well, well, worse I than I expected. So, they're dead, unfortunately. Deceased. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh, they've got siblings. What is that me swapping? X to proceed. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. 
It's really quite a miraculous process wherein we harness the properties of... The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. And with all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. Sounds like Cortana. You'll take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm pressing A. Oh, this is the keep that I saved. Keeps. Bloodline forges of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here, you will appoint one hero as a regent, and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities, too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, mm. assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. I've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers either. They deserve better than that. This game is actually really deep. Happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? Wow, okay. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. Okay. So, research. Building can more build keeps keep. is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines, but don't shun the other possibilities. With your oh, it actually approval, takes years. You can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit will never see combat again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes. It takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. But choose whatever you want. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll go for this. Inner region, outer region. First to be attacked and corrupted, but they offer significant strategic and tactical bonuses when you build there. Let's go with this empty region, why not? Oh, yeah, one more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet, but your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will. But we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. Wow. I'll be honest, guys. I'm actually really impressed with this game. Um, I hadn't seen a lot of gameplay videos about it. Just read up a little bit about it and... Um, yeah, success story for Kickstarter and music is amazing. Well, sounds good. 
Um, yeah, and it seems like the gameplay is actually really deep. Um, so this fast forwards the time. Babies! <laughs> oh my gosh. The horns have birth. A cause for celebration indeed. A year went by. Today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? What? Unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? That's your idea of glorious. That is definitely Cortana. Or the voice actor of Cortana. I don't know her name. Interesting. Ha, <laughs> baby. It's a bubba. Parents. Level one to level three. Okay. Well, I'm actually gonna see if maybe I can jump into one little more, one more battle, and and then uh, was that another baby? Before you were making choices on the battlefield. Now, I'll be making choices on the battlefield of life. <coughs> what? Come on. I will not apologize if I'm passionate about. It. You know when you guide the heroes in battle. Well, sometimes the people, your heroes included, will want your advice on matters they can't decide themselves. They'll be putting their choices in your hands, and sometimes their lives. And the decisions you make may affect the morale of the nation. Unfortunately, we've learned that the cadence feeds off grief and malcontent. So if something tragic happens, corruption can spread very quickly. But the opposite is true, too. We will trust your decisions, whatever they end up being. Okay, well, I'm gonna build a stadium. Go forth and compete. Nothing kills Bruno like point, points based competition. You approve the stadium and are eager to see how the heroes will benefit what is constructed. Okay, well, constructed, guys. So I had a baby there, Athena, both girls. Oh, and then near ten. Okay, let's let's uh, let's go for it. See if we can get to ten years. Ah! Some action. As you have no doubt surmised by now, it takes time for the cadence to create its pawns, so they're only able to attack every few years. Unfortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely and blow the horns! <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> um. I think they seem well actually they're both about the same distance away. Let's defend this region. Do you feel it? That little tingling in the air before a fight? I know they do. Here is where you can make any last minute substitutions or preparations before you deploy your heroes to battle. Once you give the word, they'll jump in and we'll handle the rest. Make sure they close their mouths when they jump. <laughs> um, hunter, alchemist, alchemist, hunter. Okay, guess we'll go for an alchemist. One more. Go for a. Uh... Okay, we'll go for a hunter again. So, long range. Deploy. 
I'm probably gonna lose this battle anyway. But this game is really good. It's really deep. Um. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hit something today. <laughs> Are you now? Wow, it's real misty up in there. Well, guys, if you are, uh, this is just a quick look, but if you're like really enjoying me playing this, um, and you actually want me deck. to, they hit things with a caber. Sometimes they hit hard and put things down. Other times they hit not so hard and just knock things out. That's all you're going to say. Simplest way of life there is. Caber jacks, profound purveyors of violence. An alchemist. Yeah. So, if you guys want me to actually like continue playing this game please do uh, leave some comments in the comments below to say yeah you want me to play the game and I shall because um, this quick look I'm probably not going to go much further than this about this fight that uh, I'm about to, about to com ah, well, begin found one of our alchemists brilliant mind in a delicate body not worth much in a close quarters battle, but they make up for it with their nasty exploding flasks. Just watch out for friendly fire. The explosions are big, so aim well, or keep your heroes back. Trust us, you don't want to be on the receiving end of one of their concoctions. It's definitely... This is an alchemist, so yeah, I should actually keep... Keep that alchemist. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go left. There you go. I saw something there. Aha. I admire the ruptures. What? They rush into battle, no concern for their own safety, knowing that as soon as they come upon their prey, they'll explode into a corrosive mess of pain and suffering. Even in death. They still hurt their enemies. It's beautiful. Disconcerting. Kind of set this up wrong. I didn't know that they had the... Whoa, just disappeared. Yeah, I didn't know they had her or that creature thing. But if I select our alchemist... No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> At least you're dead. Oh, that's what she meant. Or are we? No, oh, why can't I reach? Is it because that character is there? Wow, that thing is strong. Wow. No, they're all just blowing up and almost hurting me. What is going on? You stop being stunned. Okay, we're gonna go this way. See how we can do this. I'm still getting used to the controls because there's still quite a bit to... Uh... Huh? Cor what? Damage? Definitely takes a bit of delicacy, that's for sure. Delicacy? Delicateness. Delicacy. Yeah, that is delicacy. Okay. What's going on with other stunned lady? You back? But you're still dying. It's because you're in that, aren't you? Yes. I think it was. Okay. I don't see anyone. There you go. Enemy spotted. Now let's let's put you back here. Then you guys go up for support. Said actually to watch friendly fire, didn't she? Rapture. 
Hmm, they can hide. Nice. Nice. I like that. Come on. Come closer. Why does it do that? Oh, great. I knew it. Now they've killed one of my own. Okay, you step out of there. You're almost dead, I know. Oh, great. You are definitely dead. Cadence cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Be wary. If your heroes are hit, they may forget some of their combat training. The mind what? is just as vulnerable as the body. I like alchemists. <laughs> Okay, let's defend her. Uh, you come here. Let's end it. Ah, uh, you're gonna explode. Flip sake. Give yourself up for this all you want, but we're still counting on you here. We just killed. This isn't going so good. Fight is not yet over. Wow, I am going to die. I can't win this with just a sh uh, an alchemist. Okay. What else do we have in this map? <sighs> what the hell is all of that? Okay. You're gonna have to be my scout. There you go. Luckily you guys have to actually get quite close to, uh, to cause damage. Come on. No? No, it's too far. Still too far. Oh, there's another one. Okay, stop. Okay, you're both in the same area. can't make you flee okay I'll just move here and see if this is gonna be interesting yep Oh, not too bad. Still not dead. Yes. Calm down. You're going to tip us over. Oh, my gosh. I am so going to die.
I actually thought that was the end. I thought that was, those were the last of them, but apparently not. This is bad. Okay, so that's just water. So we want to go back. Please tell me I don't have a lot of a lot more enemies left. Come on, be nice. Okay. That should be alright, that shouldn't be you the same guy or nope? There's two of you. Great. Fantastic. Why did it say miss? I didn't miss. I've just put... Yep. Boom. No. All right, you can't let up now. I'm going to let up. This is it. <laughs> this is it right here. The end of me. Okay, maybe if I run away. Maybe. Stay away. <laughs> and that is that. Game over. <laughs> what? Well, I think that went terribly. <laughs> so we lose that. What happens? Wow, it spreads. I see. Well, actually, I am going to call this a quick look. Um, this game is very interesting. It's deep and um, definitely challenges you. And uh, if you make mistakes, it will punish you, as you just saw. Um, but yes, thank you for watching this week's quick look. Please don't forget to check out the other videos on the card and check the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next quick look. And don't forget, keep being awesome.